I want Mike Perry against Santiago Ponzinibbio. I said that to Mike Perry. Wait, they, that's going on? It's now announced. It is happening. Oh, shit. Wait. Waller versus, uh, versus Dos Anjos. Saturday, December the 15th. I'm guessing that's the co-main, correct, Chris, as of right now? When? I'm sorry. Um, December the 15th in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. That's the uh, Lawler versus Dos Anjos. It's the 16th, 16th. I am an idiot. Uh, December the 16th. Apologies. Yeah. UFC fight night. And uh, Lawler versus Dos Anjos is, is an amazing fight. I don't got the same notes as you. And uh, Ponzinibbio uh, against fucking Mike Perry. Number nine against number oh. 15. That's exactly... Yeah. It's what I fun. wanted. Great fight. You did call that. that I've been. I've been asking for that for right. a while. Didn't I ask for that before he even fought Gunnar Nelson? I think I was saying I wanted Ponzinibbio Mike Perry before he fought Gunnar Nelson. You're absolutely right. Yes. I. I. Uh, and now let's see what happens. I mean, I, and Mike Perry even said when we interviewed, he knows Ponzinibbio hits like a fucking like a, a freight train. Oh yeah. And I don't, has Mike fought anybody who hits as hard and as accurately as Ponzinibbio? I don't know. He's fought some good fighters, but. I mean, again, number 15 coming in and fighting the number nine guy, and the number nine guy has been fighting at that higher level of competition. So um, well, Mike Perry's up it's a huge the, test uh, for Mike Perry. a big Perry. test. Yeah. For both of these guys. But uh, I think more of a test for Mike Perry. I think someone's going to sleep is what I think. Dude, imagine, you, every time I say that, it goes five rounds. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I said it, because I don't say it often. No, I know. But I, in this one, I think someone's going to sleep. Unless they just both have granite, granite chins, because that's... Or if they're both so cautious. How many times have guys been so overly cautious with each other that you're like, you know what? These guys uh, are feeling each other out. I, I don't think Mike Perry and fucking cautious go together. Yeah, neither one of them. Yeah, Ponzinibbio yeah, comes right? out like no, an they, animal, they, too. They, yeah. They're going to try to end it. They're going to try to make an example. You're right, but both of these guys know that the other guy, one mistake can put you out. It's the game we play, Jimmy. It is. And I say that a lot, but I usually have piano music after. <laughs> hey, wait, this is a fight that, that already <laughs> happened, but they're doing it again here. Jose Aldo versus Ricardo Lamas. Yep. Yes. Well, that's an interesting matchup. That's also UFC Fight Night. Lawler versus Dosan. Wow, what a fucking card that is. That might be the uh, co-main. I don't know. Yeah, the bout order, I just looked. It's not determined yet. So the, they just have the fights. Did you, put which the one did you say? Uh, I said it is Perry Ponzinibbio, and they're saying, uh, and, uh, he, he's saying it might be uh, Dos Anjos uh, Aldo. That's so either one is great right well Robbie Robbie and, and RDA is the main event and then I would assume Jose Aldo oh did I say Carlos did I say oh, sorry I meant Lamas yeah, yeah. Uh, Aldo did I say uh, Dos Anjos that would be a fun fight Dos Anjos versus fucking uh, Aldo where would they fight would they fight at welterweight you think yeah, yeah I mean yeah, Aldo why not? have to gain weight yeah. <laughs> yeah why not look at this did you you didn't say this yet Carlos Condit versus Neil Magny did you say that uh, we said it last week but no I, I have not said it this today I like that I like that a lot well that's, that's December that's, 30th yeah, that's, a, that's gonna be a big card that's a great card uh, it's always a good card Alvarez uh, Gaethje is, uh, is the UFC 218 of course that's December the 2nd from Detroit there are some incredible fucking cards coming up what's the headline of 219 do we know yet uh, do we know the main event Headline, I think like a comedian when I say that. <laughs> I'm looking, wow, look at this. Talk to me. Holy shit, look at this. What? Look who's stepping in against fucking, uh, against uh, Fabricio Verdum, earned himself, it looks like, a fight uh, on, on the, the New York card. Walt Harris, uh, M Mark uh, Gabbier. Was that already scheduled? Yeah, that was the fight that was supposed to happen when, when Walt moved up to fight Verdum. But he and gave him that fight on that. Yeah, awesome. they're going to fight New York, yeah. Good. I wasn't sure he had a New York fight. That's good, man. Because he because he only got tapped quick. He didn't get hurt. No, he got no, tapped he quickly, right so he could yeah. jump back in and fight yeah, again. Yeah, he had a good attitude about it. So yeah. for that two nineteen card, it doesn't look like anything is officially named the main event. But that's Cruz, Jimmy Rivera, Cynthia Calvillo, Carla Sparza is on that. That's Condit Mac. Okay, wait a minute. I, uh, 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 is Cruz, uh, Jimmy Rivera the main event? I don't know. It's not a title. Unless fight. they're trying to add something, they have to put much a, bigger. I mean, to me, if Connor were going to fight, that's the card he's going to fight on. I'm just saying he won't be ready by that. Yeah. Oh, December thirtieth. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, you're right. It's October. Right. Did, did you guys? Um, did you guys see any of the uh, the press tour with uh, with GSP and Bisping? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Fun. Was... It, I think it's fucking great. I think it's great. Yeah, Bisping's I think really Bis beating up. I, I think Bisping's really because they're just both just polar opposites. Polar opposites. <laughs> <laughs> I really like. I and listen, and I like both guys. I really do. But there was a picture of, and these guys are my friends. There's a picture in Canada with John Danaher, who's my buddy, my, you know, the jiu-jitsu genius. And it was him with um, Jake Shields was there. Jake Shields is, is uh, helping George prepare for this fight. And some other guys I know, Carl Massaro, Hensel Gracie Black Belt. And they're all on their wrist cards. And then fucking you see on the Instagram Bisping commented, nerds. <laughs> it just, I don't know. It's, just, it's not that funny. It's very but funny. It's very, no, it actually is. Just, 
It shouldn't be that funny, but it's fucking just hysterical, man. Just nerds. You got to see the picture, though. You is, got, that, you, is that that? Is that no, it? that's not it. I don't know. It's not a bad picture. Right. It's on it's on GSP's Instagram, and uh, it's got um it's got George. It's got uh, Gary Tonin in there. Oh, I know. George. Oh, it's uh, that one. Yeah. Look, it's not a bad picture. They look like the X Men or something. But is there, but just think that wait, do you see his comment? Is it over there? Nerd. That you is see, fuck it. Is it there? No. You nah, see nah. nerds, just nerds. I don't know. <laughs> what a funny thing. <laughs> Bisping's fucking funny though. He is a very, very funny. And the guy. best is he touches George at these press conferences. Like he'll go to like touch his muscles and George will push him away. And then Bisping gets totally offended. Hey man, listen. He goes, they caught it on the TMZ, they did a clip. Where he's going to him after the thing, he's like, "Hey man, you be- I can't do an accent, but he's like, keep your fucking hands to yourself." Meanwhile, he's touching him first, and George is great. George is like, "Hey, fuck off, man!" <laughs> and then they're great with both their accents. He's like, "Hey, fuck off! I don't give a damn." It's fuck. Listen, I can watch that shit all day. I think that one's gonna be a big seller. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, it's oh, it's fun. Dude, I'm crying because they both know thing. what they're doing. I mean, they yeah. they're both. Uh, you know veterans professionals and they're great fighters it's gonna be so it's funny man and uh you know i think bisping really really trolls it up he really tries to make george uncomfortable and it's fun to watch because bisping doesn't care if he's hated he's got the way i look at bisping is he's got whoever's in his close circle so he doesn't really care he's not looking for acceptance and that's that's very that's fun that's a good thing it's better than the guy that is just trying to always say the right thing you know what I mean? He's fucking doesn't care if he offends anybody, and he, and I think he's he's pretty he's funny when he's not even trying to be. I think. He was fucking with them. I saw that they were sitting in the one I saw, yeah. and they were and they were kind of, they were sitting down, and uh, GSP wasn't talking as much shit. But GSP didn't look rattled by it either. He's just not as much of a shit talker, and he was just basically saying, "I yeah. can do a lot more things than he can do." I mean, he's just not as good at the at the rhythmic yeah. shit talking. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, but he doesn't take any shit. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Not at all. And he seems... He's calling them nerds. And they're my buddies, dude. I see like Carl Mazzaro. That's a black belt of the Henzo Gracie. Mark Cerrone, that kid. He, Mark Cerrone, he came up with me over at Henzo's. He's How like, many guys in there could I tap? <laughs> I think Probably four, right? I, there's four. eight of them. I'm, I'm thinking three. Who thinks it's yeah. interesting that Jake Shields is in there? Help, I mean, I Help at GSP, they yes. Fought. They were like rivals. And, and I think that's nice, man. I think that's really nice. You GSP know? looks pretty big, too. He looks bulky. What do you think he's walking around at? Dude, let me tell you, Spider. He's wearing that Spider-Man rash going. Only mm-hmm. Spider-Man's not that buff. What do you think? She, he, she should be wearing a Captain. Well, I guess Captain America doesn't really, you know, because he's from Canada. What do you think he's ahead, walking what? around at? One ninety? I have no fucking. No, what? One ninety? I'm gonna just, what? Wait, I'm gonna say heavier than that. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I, I, what does he normally walk uh, around at? I don't know. Two hundred? I don't know. Yeah, I just I know, know what I walk know. around at. It makes me want to fucking kill myself. Just kidding. But people. that's what I'm saying. People he's don't he's think a that smaller seriously. guy. You look good. <laughs> I'm very happy. You're very stocky. Well, what do you think Bisping walks around at? Dude, I'm the worst guy to ask yeah. about this. I'm going to guess 210. Really right. He's got to be over 200 pounds. He's yeah. always in Easily. shape, though, Bisping. He the is, guy's right? always training. Bisping never had a problem with, with uh, his cardio. Neither guy had a problem with that cardio right. ever. This is going to be a fun fight, man. I, I'm, I'm looking, I am looking forward to it. People can say Both older guys, too. He's yeah. been 37, I think. And, and what is, uh, it's funny, I say 37 is older guy, I'm 49. And, but what is, uh, and what is GSP? He's got to be pushing 38, 39? No, I think GSP's younger than that. Isn't I like it? when we had Chuck Zito in here and he's calling him GPS. Yeah, he's, 30, he's 36. <laughs> it was great. He called him a couple times. Yeah, oh, yeah, GPS. I go, oh, well, well wrong guy. I mean, sure, he gets fines where he has to go, but. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can correct Chuck. I can't, I can't correct Chuck Zito. Well, no, uh, we, we made Chuck. Because Chuck Zito has a hand the size of my fucking. By the way. I, I went to a totally digressing. I went to Vegas, right. oh. did my gig, great time, and I went and saw Tyson's show. He has that one man show. And Mike, have you met Mike? I never. I, well, I met him once. I shook his hand because his he's fucking hands but... are massive. Yeah. I never realized how big Mike's hands are, and I've interviewed him a shitload of times. But then somebody pointed it out on Twitter. They zoomed in on the hand, and I'm like a fucking little. It's like he's meeting a ballerina. Yeah, yeah. It's like a little. He's, he's meeting his little little girl ballerina, saying hello, dear. I'm going hello. <laughs> Can make you his. Well, sure. I'd probably chick. let him. I admire You'd him. Probably... I admire I'd, him. I'd probably let him. I admire him. God, it's great. So uh, Ally Aquinta, by the way, thanks for the scoop, Matt, is fighting no. Paul Felder. I know. I know. That's a great fight. It sure is. That's also uh, Holloway versus... God, another fight. December the... That's right. Holloway yeah, that Detroit Detroit card is a massive a card. sickeningly great. good. Who else yeah. on that card? I asked Chris to print these out, but in French, and he refuses to do it. What do you mean? 
Okay. I'm gonna. I can't, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, I can't print out ninety cards. How's uh, how's Henry uh, Schrudo's foot doing now? Oh, Henry Schrudo. I think he's okay. You know, it's funny. Some dummy on Twitter goes, it's nice you to make fun of his injury, but I didn't make fun of his injury. Who we'll made fun of his injury? Because what we were talking about, we thought he jumped out of the hotel. We didn't know it was a fire. Yeah. And then we said, oh, no, it was because the fire. He jumped out of the hotel and, and, and crooked his ankle. And we're like, Jesus Christ, how close was the fire? Like, we didn't realize. It's yeah. like we just had this crazy image of the fire sneaking up on you. Yeah. We didn't realize, I think, that he had, like he said, he burned his ankle. Yeah, well, so I was reading about it. Well, how close was it or something? When, but, when we talked about it on the show, we, I had said originally that I read a report that he he hurt his ankle when he jumped out of right. the, yeah. the. And, we, you know, we were like, oh, that's, you know, crazy. He must have, it must have waited too long to jump out. <laughs> Turns out he actually he burned his foot and he, it, it was like a very bad fire. Yes. Uh, he lost his Olympic medal. He, that was oh, like his only no. way out. Like that. In a hotel? Had, yeah. Why would just, he have that in a hotel? Is that common? I guess he was doing some kind of charity event, so maybe he just had it for oh. that or whatever. But yeah, so he luckily he's fine and he's still going to fight and he, you know his foot's not very badly injured. But it was a very serious situation, which obviously we didn't know at the time when we brought sure. him. So. Yeah, so I'm glad he's okay. I'm, I'm yeah. happy he's okay too. People got to relax though. We're not here to hurt anybody's feelings. No. And he's also said he's going to donate his bonus money. If he wins any bonus money, he's going <clears> to <throat> donate it to people in Santa Rosa, which is these wildfires are going through. 35 people died. The, Isn't know. it crazy how the, like, because I've never experienced fires like that, but they literally move like a car. I mean, they, they fucking, there's footage of the, like when the wind starts blowing. I mean, they, they you can't outrun them. Like they really fucking move. Oh yeah. Uh, here's UFC 218 so far. The bout order is not determined. I'll, I'll determine the bout order. Okay. Go. Holloway, Edgar for the featherweight title. That's on the prelims. Go ahead, go. <laughs> uh, Overeem and Ganu. Oh. Yeah. Is that the co-main? Jimmy, Jimmy no? just ejaculated. It, maybe, but then you got Alvarez Gaethje. <laughs> That's the co-main. Cejudo versus Sergio Pettis. That's a number e. one contender fight, probably. Wow. Ally Quinta, Paul Felder. That, that's the main card. Ally Quinta, Felder. And then, um, what was the last fight you just said? Before I said uh, Cejudo versus Sergio Cejudo Pettis. versus Sergio Pettis, and then it's going to be Overeem and Ganu, and then it's going to 